Hello, and welcome back to Dungeon of Dreadmore. Let's keep going on. I did a little bit of inventory management and picked up some old stuff that I had, that I put down before. Besides that, we're pretty much in the same spot. Keep Fungo Stiggle. I didn't read this before, so, the Stiggle. Modeled, this er earthly modeled Diggle has mushrooms growing off of its body. I don't see any. This monster is trying to kill you. This monster is commander of Lord... Dreadmore's 50... Oh. Morning's marriage. Okay. Well, I just killed that. Apparently he was commander. Ludifisk. I hope we find the Ludifisk god soon. I have many Ludifisk to offer him. A rusty bin. Crafting reagents are simply Ludifisk in the eyes of Ludifisk god. Step back. Oh my god, level up! Fighting evil by moonlight. Oh my god. Supremely sly sidestepper. Slippery like a fox. It's my dodge at. Dodge chance 59%. Hiya. That gives me bonus nimbleness. Counter attack chance. That's a mushroom. I don't know what it does, so I'm gonna eat it. Brief invisibility. Awesome. Oh, this is, this is a side quest run, I didn't even notice. Ooh. Bolt. Got a side quest. Got us a side quest. Except, so I got this thing, and whenever I find, what is it, on the eyeball shrine, whenever I find an eyeball shrine, let's say level 6, what level am I, 14, oh no, in level 6, holy crap, if I was a wizard right now, Ah. Yeah. Everything is slowly becoming more like a monster zoo. Go, go, go. That would have been a really great time to drink something. But I'm too busy killing things now. I'm too far deep. Let us fire some of these bolts at him. It keeps saying my spell does no damage. I don't exactly know what that's supposed to mean. Strangely resistant to transmutive energies. Is this the same one that poisoned me? Yes. Fungus. Lobstery toughness. So I am as tough as a lobster. And the poison killed the... You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna eat this. Give me healing. A fresh steak. Take that. A fungal lamp. I guess this place is pretty deep. Is that a crown? A crown of yellow. Oh, thank you. The prince. Oh, this probably gives me that princely thing. What is my hat? Yeah, this is more of a wizard thing, I think. Ah, uh, maybe. What is this? Magic power. Yeah, it's a wizard thing. <gasps> Ludfisk. And yeah, this dungeon actually has a really different layout now. I can't nightly weep there, can I? No, that'll just take me right off the edge. Actually, this is just a mage thing. We will Ludfisk it. Did inventory management, and inventory is almost full of consumables again. Consumables are my bane. The idea is I just get to dread more, and just eat like 80 things before I fight him. That wins. 
Luna is the base of ooze, it's our in its fundamental element, and the squishy odor is unappealing. I must. Here's a Lutefisk. I'll be back with more. Ooh, wait, okay. So this armor has five block. Hmm. But this could be some damage. I lose a bunch of nimbleness. Five block. Five um, armor absorption. I'll take it anyway. We might use it sometime. Oil of vitriol, I don't need that. We will put something else important down there. Sonic Wand. Aluminum ring, just some dodge chance. Oh, I got a shop! Let's hope something amazing is here. It's a partisan. The sword of Vlork, son of <laughs> Delignant. Actual genealogy of the sword is too complicated to think about. Hmm, that's cool. Happy Metal Shield. Clockwork Fezzo Blade. It's a crap wound. This dagger keeps its perfect time. And submerged in a water depth of 100 feet. It also kills people! A right, dagger class weapon. Clockwork Orb. I think an orb is an offhand thing for wizards. We'll sell this scale metal, though. Anything else important? Crown of yellow? Is that? All sold. A slinkly flail. I mean, again, not a lot of stuff I would like. I we could just take this. We need it. He probably doesn't get much business down here, though. Oh, is this? Yep. I thought as much. So, let's throw some bombs. So, we need to back off to get a good shot for the bolt of squid. I don't want to hit Brax, though. I also don't want to get surrounded. So, we will nightly leap backwards. Let's throw down. Our auto model slobs. Acid flask. Now everyone that leads to me can fight me. And I will push them into the acid. Oh, this dude wants to go though. You wanna go? We'll drink this. Oop. Oh god. I just nightly leaped in the wrong way. be able to throw our last iron bomb at these guys. That does damage. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, that's real good. Oh, that's really good. Oh my god, where is that store I was at? I want to go back there. Oh my god, is that dragon? That's a dragon! I think I killed it. Yeah. I'm going back to that vending machine when I find it. I'm going to go back and look for it. Wherever it went. I'm going to buy myself one of those. I mean, if you just want to waste your turns down there, that's fine. Sometimes the monster is just like sitting in AoE. Alright, we picked up this. We'll eat it. We will drink. Oh, I still have this. Burden potion. Potion of stealing. 
that gives me armor, punishment, invisibility, purity. We'll just drink a potion of dire empowerment. Now we're all shadowy and anti-hero like. Uh, just give me some necrotic resistance and damage. Okay. Come on, just die. So what is our chances here? We have block chance. Okay, so there's pretty much not much of a chance for them to hit me. I think block chance affects how like key are to mostly block what you deserve. Okay. So it might be like WoW or Diablo, where the block is in a 100% damage reduction, but it's a lot. So versus these guys, I can either block or dodge everything. What am I standing in? Oh well. This is that carrot hanging out in the shop, as I kill all of his friends. Alright. I don't smell like Diggle Pee. Shut up. That's slander. I'll have you arrested. Get those Asket flasks out of here. Eh. I do love the monster zoos. Surprisingly enough, they're like very relaxing. Oh my god, look at all this bonus damage! What is my damage at right now? I have a lot of melee power. I should back up. You're not five levels higher than me. Shut up. Four. Shoot this guy. Alright, I don't want to be in this fight much anymore. There we go. Oh, I just threw that guy over the whole shop. You enjoying the, um, the fight? A cold carrot. Let's throw one of these in here. And then we will shoot one of these over here. We're taking some damage. Quite a battle. Keep shooting with darts. Oh, there we go. That's one down. What is that? Snowball? Ball is in like the demon lord? This dude is the same guy that like destroyed me a few a while back. Shoot him with the bone wand. Oh my god, the bone wand summoned zombies? What? I can hit the zombie by accident. I think it might only summon zombies from corpses. Oh, I keep hitting my own zombies by accident. What much of charges does this have? 13 charges? We could use one on him. Yeah. Dazed. Let's try the bony one on this pile of corpses over here. Hiya! Alright, summon two zombies. I want to summon as many zombies as possible. Oh, they get out of my way if I step down to them.
We'll just start using up other bony ones. Hiya! Go zombies. Slow the game down. So, note to self next time, use the bony wand a lot earlier. If I kill these guys, do I get experience? Let's check. No, I do not. Um, we'll get this bolt out. Oh yeah, that was the Sonic wand. Why did I just shoot him point blank range? Time to nightly leap out of this little surround I've got. Whew. These zombies were not a good idea. We're gonna sell these wands to him while this is all going on. The Swiss defense stance is really helping here. Oh my god, these are a lot of diggles. I'll throw the last one here. Let's shoot some bolts. There's Diggle. He's running away. We will re reassign these bolts to different keys so that I can shoot them. And also they do not take space because do not take space in my inventory. Diggles are always so adorable, even though they hate me so much. I'll take this. What is that noise? Apparently I killed something. Sometimes with this game you don't exactly understand what's going on. The last... What? Where's the last dude? I killed everyone in this entire dungeon! Maybe you're part of the zoo as well. What? We're gonna find whoever is part of this dun this monster zoo. Maybe someone left up here. All right, son. I'll take that. All right, who's hanging out? Oh, there's a zombie. One of my zombies. You count? No, you don't. I kind of stabbed that guy for no reason. He liked me, and then I stabbed him. Oh my god, at least we got... We, can, we got a place to sell all this crap we just picked up. Um, this stuff doesn't need to be in my inventory. Oop. Alright, we'll hunt down the last remaining members of these... of this monster zoo. You're going to Ludafisk that deep fungus diggle. Why does it look? Oh. Yeah. Now I have three of those. Uh. Oh, this the diggles must have tunneled out. That's why I gotta hunt down some more diggles. I still gotta remember to pick up that that uh, stuff from that vending machine. Like that. Oh, that's a batty. Where'd you go, batty? Batty, get back here. I gotta shoot you. Okay, that's one more down. Historically inaccurate Viking helm. That's fine. This dungeon seems a lot. This floor seems really small compared to other floors. 
I don't think I got my bloody reward, though. And I want my bloody reward. There's so much blood for it. Nothing hidden around. Budapisk. Someone must have just run away. Oh, I got it. What was that? What? Alright. There we go. Now we can sell all this stuff. Now let's head back and buy all those, um... Those, like, those, like, what is it? They're kind of like fire bombs or whatever. There's no way to pass over this. I really don't want to die to drowning. Okay. Oh, yes, this is a stealth thing, isn't it? Invisibility seems kind of weird. Is this where the vending machine was? It was selling those throwing items? There it is. I'm not just bring some flask. Nine of these things. That's gonna help. Uh, Malaslav. I don't know if I need that. A thermite bomb. We'll leave it for now. Hmm. We'll turn in our last bit of Ludafisk to the Ludafisk God. Because who knows when we may see him again. But first of all, we're taking this dude out. There we go. He has been taken out. Back to the Ludafisk God. I can't wait to go through these doors. Actually, I, I feel like we're getting... We're gonna get, like... Like, the dungeons are going to get smaller and smaller. Like, each floor. I'm kind of concerned about that. Because look at how big these are com on the map. Like, comparatively. It's crazy. Ludafisk. God, I offer you this. Oh, well. Well, either way, that's an autosave and I'm in a door. I'll see you next time on Dungeons & Dreadmore. Thank you so much for watching.